Okay, so let's talk about seed oils. A lot of people are kind of recommending seed oils because there are a lot of studies showing that low linoleic acid in the blood, which seed oils are high in linoleic acid, is associated with more diabetes, more heart disease, just worse outcomes in general. So they're using this to say, since most of our linoleic acid comes from seed oils, this means that a low seed oil intake is bad. But what they don't realize is this is likely due to reverse causation because inflammation decreases linoleic acid. When you have higher inflammation, it converts linoleic acid to oxidized linoleic acid metabolites. Additionally, having elevated insulin also decreases linoleic acid. So the delta-60 saturase enzymes, which metabolize linoleic acid eventually to arachidonic acid, are stimulated by insulin. So when you have more insulin, you will have lower linoleic acid because it stimulates the enzyme that converts linoleic acid to gamma linolenic acid. Okay, and I'll post the studies in the captions below. But the MESA study also confirmed this, and they specifically stated in their conclusion, in their abstract, that omega-6 PUFAs are more likely markers of hyperinsulinemia. So when you have low linoleic acid, that simply might just be a reflection that you have elevated levels of insulin, and that's why low linoleic acid associates with worse outcomes, because elevated insulin is associated with you know, worsening uh, diabetes, you know, heart disease, cancer, etc. Okay, so people should not be using low linoleic acid in the blood associating with worse outcomes to, to mean that low seed oil intake is bad. Okay, there are also people claiming that seed oil intake is good because low linoleic acid in adipose tissue associates with more cancer. But again, this is also due to reverse causation. Cancer uses linoleic acid to fuel its growth. So we've seen that linoleic acid in adipose tissue of cancer patients is lower because the tumors are taking it up. So again, if anyone is trying to use linoleic acid in blood, in red blood cells, in tissues, associating that with worse outcomes, and then to extrapolate that and say, how could seed oils be bad? Just show them this video and tell them that it's reverse causation.